So because Europe doesn't actually have modern technology, they still use this aqueduct to get water to and from the campus here at IE University. That's not that's not really true. They they have running water and toilets and bathrooms and everything, so don't worry. We're actually going to see the IE Segovia campus. We got a statue with a cell phone. See. Sí. Doing selfies. It looks like it's from like 1638. But he's holding a cell phone. Now With the d out. Yeah, he's got his out. Yeah, we're gonna make sure we don't get that in here and just, you know, just. <laughs> Like, can you actually imagine walking around here and studying here every day? Because this is like, it feels, I feel like I have to whisper. Look at where we are, dude. Like, we're in a freaking historical heritage site. The IE Segovia campus is like, I don't know how many hundreds of millions of years old. It's like before the dinosaurs, definitely. It used to be an insane asylum and then like a place for old people to go when they're old and like an orphanage. Like, it's been all these different things and now it's a university and it's really awesome like they've got these crazy fusions of like modern infrastructure and technology with this stuff like you're literally in what used to be a giant church hall like come on tell me you don't want to be here Normal university, just like every other wall you've ever seen. Segovia, like this fusion is, is really something like I've really never seen anything like this before. Whenever I see these things, I get really excited because it's like, if I were going to go to college again, this is probably what I would do. I had no idea they had this kind of technology in this little campus. Kind of surprising when I got here to hear so much English. Like, I, I mean, it's Spain, so you kind of assume they're going to speak more Spanish, even though all the programs here are in English. But uh, it's such an international campus, you just have to use English. So you're going to hear a lot of it today. Today, we're going to talk to four students from three different countries, two Peruvians, an American, and a local Spaniard to talk to us about their experience at IE. I really think you're going to like these interviews because they've got such different stories, and they're all doing different programs. So they all have like a different perspective of this university and what it means to them. So let's go meet our people. My name is Alberto Inope. I'm studying here in IE University in Segovia and I'm in the Bachelor of Economics, also known as BIE. Hi, my name is Catalina. I'm from Madrid, and I'm studying here in Segovia, uh, studying architecture first year. My name is Aston Roth. I'm from Atlanta in the United States, and I study second year in the International Relations Program here at IE. Hi, I'm Nicole Uceda. 
I was born in the U.S., but I've lived all my life in Peru. My family's from Peru. I study economics. My bachelor is all about mixing economics with mathematics, mixed with programming, which is a really valuable skill for us nowadays. We also have a research part. At university, they have a virtual library, and you can search for thousands of papers, academic papers. Based on that, you can create your own papers. So it's really a research-oriented course. IE gives you a lot of tools that other universities don't. For example, the teachers, they're professionals. So they give you a professional point of view and the real life situations they've been going through. A lot of international relations is research and being able to actually process that research through programs and programming is going to be an incredibly valuable skill for you, whether you want to stay in IR or want to transfer it to maybe some kind of international business. We learn economics, we learn history, and of course international relations. And along with that, we have specific courses that we take from the UN, where we're getting UN certifications. You can put them on your CV, kind of improve your chances of actually being able to get a job with an international relations degree, which is something that IE puts at the forefront. I've always been really interested in architecture. We're really exposed to all of the creative process, and like I really was happy to know that I really valued the design and the step-by-step -step process. We were told that we were the biggest class from architecture this year, so we were like 45 students. They assigned like four teachers for a class of 45, which I think is really nice. I was initially supposed to go to Madrid, but I was able to change it to Segovia, so if you're wondering about that, it's quite doable to change. Not regretted it at all. I love being over here. It's a smaller town, and that's actually, I really like it because of that. And so instead of like having all these distractions, what you do in your free time is you just hang out with your friends. And so you're able to spend a lot of time with people and create great connections that you wouldn't necessarily be able to make in other places. Segovia is a really calm city, but still it is full of tourism. If you're a tourist, you can just do it in one day. But if you live here, you well, you learn how to appreciate them and to see them every single day and to pass by, not as a tourist, but as an everyday citizen. You really become a citizen of Segovia. You feel the a sense of belonging. It's not like a really big city like Madrid instead. I've missed my family a lot, but at the same time, here Segovia, compared to Madrid, we are so close to each other and you meet people your same situation, overwhelmed and nervous as you. And the nightlife also. What are like the good spots? Where should people go? Oh, <laughs> the good spots in Segovia probably are Irish, as my friends know. La Mentira, that's like, you know, Spanish music. You go to places where IE students go. You literally are with your friends all the time. I'm really happy here in Segovia. I like I never like thought I would actually like be living here because I've been here many times just for like lunch with my family and stuff. So I always saw it like, oh, it's Segovia. But once you like really live here and you like spend your time here, I live in a residence as well. So we're like around 35 students in the residence. I spend so much time with all my like friends there. I believe I compared to Madrid where they say it's like basically just like go up to your class you do your class, you do your lecture, and then you just like go down the lift and just go to the subway and go back home. After spending a whole day in the Segovia campus, I truly cannot imagine the IE experience without it. If you're considering IE for your applications, like you absolutely should start in Segovia. And if you wanna go finish your career in this amazing Madrid tower, you can. But if you don't start in Segovia, you might miss out on the chance entirely. And honestly, like, it is one of the most unique campuses that I have ever been to. I have never seen a campus that perfectly fuses a historic heritage site with so much modern technology and innovation. And it really opened my eyes to what's possible at IE. And even though I already had a really good opinion about the university, like now that I've been on the campuses, man, like go. Simple as that. They don't pay me to say this, I'm, I'm telling you. This is where I would want to go. But speaking of this IE Tower, this is one of the tallest education buildings in the world, and it's located right here in downtown Madrid's financial district. If you want to learn more about the tower, then you should subscribe to the channel because I'm going to publish another video about this specific location and give you a full campus tour and a whole lot more inside information from the admissions office. So until then, I want to give a big thank you to Nicholas for taking the time to help us out with both tours, both Segovia and here at the tower. He was awesome in making all the logistics work so big thank you to you Nicholas and also to all of you guys for watching so see you next week